Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. A search is underway for a possible missing swimmer. Now, according to the Coast Guard, they received a report around 6 yesterday evening about an 18-year-old swimmer in distress just south of Dolphin Island. The Coast Guard is leading the search with the assistance of local agencies, including the Dolphin Island Police and Fire. We'll continue to follow the search for you and we'll bring you updates as we get them both on air and online. Mobile police are investigating after they saw some, I say rather, that someone fired shots outside of a local Waffle House. It happened Sunday night along the 1800 block of Government Street. Police confirming to Fox 10 News that an unknown person fired multiple shots at the building. Now, fortunately, no serious injuries. We're told that one employee received a few cuts due to broken glass. Now, if you know anything, please call Mobile Police. The United States is continuing to try to vaccinate as many Americans as possible against COVID-19. According to the CDC, more than 100 million people in the U.S. are now fully vaccinated. That's more than 31 percent of the U.S. population. But officials say that the country will not reach herd immunity until 70 to 85 percent of the population is vaccinated. And health leaders say that vaccine hesitancy remains a big problem. What I really worry about is that those people who are already on the fence don't get vaccinated. We don't reach herd immunity come the fall. And then with the winter, because coronaviruses are winter respiratory viruses, we have a big resurgence. Maybe we have variants coming in from other countries. And because of that, travel from India may soon be restricted. Experts say that country is currently in a crisis and because a number of daily cases are past 400,000, the highest for any nation during the pandemic. President Biden's administration says that they are in nonstop contact with the Indian government and shipments of aid are en route. Here at Fox 10 News, we are now committed, of course, to being a part of that vaccination effort. We are teaming up with Infirmary Health now for the Fox 10 Get Vaccinated event. It's the this fact this Friday at Infirmary's Pro Health off of Spring Hill from 7 a.m. until 2 p.m. The vaccine is free. Folks are welcome to just walk in and they're asking that you bring your ID and proof of insurance to register, but they will overlook if you don't have it. Everyone 16 and older is welcome to get their first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. The second dose will be offered about three weeks later. I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report. We've seen a lot of showers and storms passing through the area overnight, and those are all working their way in a southwest to northeast motion. You can see as of now, we have showers that are just to the west of Leakesville, but most spots are coming in rain free, but the air has gotten extremely humid and muggy and will remain that way through the entire day. We have an active southwest to northeast flow pattern, which is the direction that all the showers and storms are moving when they move from offshore to onshore. Shore, and we will deal with more storms today. The rain coverage 50%. Most will start blossoming up again as we get closer to lunchtime. And then we're going to see another big round of severe storms, possibly into tomorrow and Wednesday. So three active weather days today, tomorrow and Wednesday before we end up going completely dry and get that drop in humidity at the end of the week. Here's your weather headlines for your Monday. Very humid. We're also going to deal with more storms possible through the afternoon. And then as we head into tomorrow, heavy rain and a few severe storms. Let's go through the Fox 10 future cast where we're starting off mostly dry and muggy. And then as we get closer to midday, we start to see showers and storms blossoming up in more spots, mostly north of Interstate 10. Heavy rain, lightning will be big threats, but also you can see some gusty winds, possible hail with these storms. And as we go into the afternoon, school pickup time and the drive home, a few more will be lingering around and we could even see some more into this evening. So here's a glimpse at how the next seven days are going to stack up. The biggest rain and storm opportunities tomorrow, and that's going to be the next severe weather window. And then by the time we get to Thursday and Friday, we go dry and less humid. The morning temperatures will get back into the 58 to 62 degree range, which will feel much better. And as of now, the weekend looking mostly dry. We'll talk more weather throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.